Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here we successfully installed Laravel latest version Laravel 9.7.0 right my PHP version is 8.1.2 now you can see they have no um, authentication because I didn't install any authentication. So if you want to install that authentication in Laravel they have a different type of package you can install the breeze rather than you can also install that JDStream. So that is all that default authentication system. That means every your authentication will be ready made. You can log in with your user, you can register it, you can add that forget password, reset password, everything will be ready made. Okay, so right now I want to do uh, for creating that multi authentication system, I want, I want to use JD stream. So if you go to that JD stream, then it will be return redirect to the JD stream Laravel. Okay, here it will be return redirect. And from here now I want to do I want to install it. So if you go to that install, first of all, we have to run as a composer required Laravel JD stream. Okay, when you install it, it will be created some of the file. So that is our all the default file. So it will be created some of the default um, file in here. So that is our database, that is a migration by default. That have some of the table. Now that, uh, that will be created some of the file in our app. It will be created some of the file in our config folder. Okay, here it will be created some of the file. Step by step, I will show you. Like first of all, I want to do by default that have one of the model as a user model. Now I want to, do, want to install it. So if you want to install it, simply copy it okay copy it and now our project um, I have already run our project with the PHP addition serve that is our project name right now I want to go to our project so that is our project folder and into the project folder here I want to do I want to install it right so if you want to install simply go to that CMD and now I want to install it I simply paste it that will be the composer required Laravel JD stream I want to install that Laravel JD stream package if you now click as the enter now it will be downloaded all that file from to the internet make that sure you are connected with the internet so it may take little time better when it will be done then I'll come back again here you can see friend our Laravel JD stream installed successfully great so it's now successfully installed and after that we have to do we have to also install Laravel Liveware. Okay, so now I want to do and to copy it, copy it, the PHP addition JD Steam install Liveware. I copy it. Now again, I want to install another one. So that will be the PHP addition JD Steam install Liveware. Now click as enter. It will be also installed successfully. You can see the migration created successful, and also it may take little time. Mm, it may take little time. Better when it will be done. Then I will come back again. Here you can see is also successfully installed. Laravel library is successfully installed into the composer JSON is updated. Great, everything is look like perfect. And after that, now we have to do we have to install npm install and also you have to run as a npm run dev. So that is the two different type of command, but you can run it at a time. Okay, so for install it, make that sure as I told you before, you have to install that Node.js. Now that is our packages, all the things I want to access it. So I want to install it, I copy it and then I paste it. So that will be the npm install and npm run dev. Now I want to also install it. I simply click as enter. So friend, it's also make take little time. Okay, so that is all the packages so it will be installed and it will be created on the folder as a node in here. So better when it will be done, you can see it's now installing. So it may take a little time when it will be done, then I will come back again. Here you can see friend, it's now successfully installed and now that is a build successfully. So if everything okay, then that will be displayed this type of one of the message and also you can see there is a compiled successfully done. It successfully created the JS, app JS and then app CSS and that is a web package compiled successfully. So make that sure is installed successfully rather than you will get some of the error as a minifix type of one of the error. Okay, make if, if they have they have any issues, if you find out some of the error as a minifix type of error, then just simply reinstall it again. Right now my npm dev is successfully installed. Okay, it's perfect. So as I told you friend, when you install that JD stream, so that, that's all you have to do for installing that JD stream. Right now everything should be work. When you install the JD stream, they have some of the file. For now, I want to show you what exactly the new file is added in your Laravel project. Like into the app, 
Okay, into this app, you know, you can see it's now created one of the actions folder. Here they have another folder as a fortify create user. They have some of the file is generated and also JD stream the delete user it will be generated. Okay, so it will be generated some of the file in here and also if you go to that HTTP and there is a middleware and here it's also created some of the middleware that is a default some of the middleware it will be created and into the provider area also it will be created as a fortified service provider JD stream service service provider some of the provider will be added in particular that area so that is all the default file okay just I simply am um, <laughs> explain what exactly the new file is added later you will also work in particular that positions like into the config area it will be added some of the file as a jdstream.php it will be added another one as is centum.php 45.php okay it will be created uh, some of the file it will be automatically added in our config folder perfect it's successfully installed there is a migration that has also is created some of the new table as a two-factor table you can see they have some of the default table right now when you install that JD stream JD stream will be also added some of the table great all, all the table will be saved into the migration area and also in our route into the route now it will be created another route if you go to that web route by default you can see now that is created this type of one of the route it's using that middleware as a auth as a symptom middleware and there is a config jd stream auth section and that is the verified it means that in our config folder if you go to that config folder into the config as i told you it will be added some of the file you can see there is jd stream so that is a jd stream and into the jd stream there is also another one as auth section if you go to that uh, jd stream into the jd stream here you can see there is a auth section so into the auth section that is a authenticated session class so that is one of the default um, file you can see there is a laravel and the, it, that is in our vendor laravel framework and in particular that position there is authenticated session file if you open it and that is our authenticated session file okay so that is all the default file i simply um, show you what exactly the things actually you can see there is a logout functionality there is a guard functionality right now there is a new uh, right now there is a new things is added in laravel 9 which is totally fine there is a config folder and now web that is a uh, perfect when everything will be done it will be returned directly to the slash dashboard and it will be returned on the view page as a dashboard okay view page dashboard means if you go to the resources into the view area also now that should be created some of the folder like it should be created on the auth folder and they have some of the file as a logging file registration file forget password file because that is all that view file will be created and in our logout there is an app and then guest profile and you can see it's now created some of the dashboard dot blade it's now created on the navigation menu dot blade policy and then tram so when you install the jd stream it will be generated some of the file in here by default when you install the laravel that is one of the welcome page okay so now we have to do we have to configure our database we have to create one of the database and we have to configure this database then we have to migrate then everything will be run successfully so we can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.